recently and then a Schiller. She just needs a cosier run. She's been good her last two. And obviously Schmoozer has won again and she was good behind Schmoozer first up. I didn't find a spot for the favourite because of the price. Same with you. Coming back from the 1200, didn't see a good uh, 1200 out. Second up, but obviously that first up run here at Sunny Coast was good, got galloped on and we had lost in transit, come out of that race and win well in town. But 5, 10, 7 and 1. Yeah, exactly, Khan. And the great aspirations who beat, he liked them pretty home that day, his favourite for a harder race later today. Correct. So that's where the support's coming for the two. But Khan and I, to some degree, just taking on the favourite a touch uh, as they start to load up. He liked them pretty. We'll start your favourite. Josh Fleming calling all of the action today. A massive 10 race card. Few showers about. Soft six we're on at the moment. Let's hope it stays that way. Let's head upstairs to Josh. And Dolly Disco to move in. So both Thoroughbred Central, Sky Racing 1 crossing at the same time. So thank you to Paul and Kian and John Gatfield as well. Now Dolly Disco's in the club's colours here for Chris Meehan about to move in. And Grant Kawur who played up a wee bit in the yard and a Schiller to move in and will be right to run. Good late money for Bloom and Ripper. But the clear favourite is he liked him pretty Drawn gate number one here, and the last one to go forward is our Schiller for Nathan Thomas. The lead key builders here, race number two, 1,000 metres about to get underway. Gate one, the favourite, he liked them pretty. And they've all moved in. Red light. Here we go. One out wide with the head up in there a little bit. Gates open though, Radishing, and he liked him pretty away well. Likewise, that stable made out wide in Barcelona. Mint condition going forward between them. Landing fourth, remanded, 50 outsiders on a mission. Also, Bloom and Ripper further back is a Schiller with What's Up Honey, Grand Kawur, and Dolly Disco. So, mint condition in Barcelona, the first couple by length and a half here from he liked him pretty. Bloom and Ripper also on a mission and remanded further back is a Schiller on the, out, on the outside. What's up, honey? And the final couple, Grand Coeur and Dolly Disco. 400 metres left to run. Just in front's been conditioned from looming up as in Barcelona. Running home as he liked him pretty. And further back on the field there to Bloom and Ripper. And the next one is What's up, honey? Here's he liked him pretty. Dashing up on the outside, taking over from in Barcelona. The inside been conditioned. Running home as a Schiller down the outside. In front, he liked him pretty. A Schiller's coming home well, but he liked him pretty in front. And he liked him pretty is one from a Schiller. Thirds in Barcelona, followed by What's Up, Punny, Bloom and Ripper. Uh, next across the line, Remanded, followed further back by Mint Condition on a mission, Grand Coeur and Dolly Disco's at the rear. Two beats, one, ten and seven, but favourite scores, he liked them pretty. Getting out late too, $2.80. Mark Duplessis, Robert Heathcote, a Schiller. Give this horse 1,200 metres, it'll dead set. Win another great placing in Barcelona, sticking on well there for third. That's a great return. And then What's Up Honey has a stuck, uh, or grabbed four for other. Two, one, ten and seven. Bang on, Kian. Lovely ride, wasn't it, Mark? He just let that speed go. He robbed into the box seat, but got across heels at the top of the straight just to give Hulock a pretty some room and showed a bit of versatility today because she's been on pace, sort of getting run down, and today she sat off the pace and was strong through the line. Lovely piece of training there by Robert Heathcote. Continues his good form. And you're right, a Schiller screaming out for the 1,200. In Barcelona was great up on speed. And as for Mink Condition, our top pick, just being her first start, finding herself in front, obviously she's got a bit to learn, uh, but don't give up on her. She was there for a long way, and I just don't think the way that race panned out is probably the way we'll see her ridden in the future. But uh, those numbers, 2, 1, 10, and the screen's gone off for the fourth number. It must be a 7. 2, 1, 10, a and seven. 7. 2, 1, 10. They've run 59, 1, 9, so almost identical to the race we saw in race number 1. All right, that gets us through the second race here at the Sunny Coast. A quick break on the other side. We've got a little piece on uh, the Gibbons clan, uh, Andrew and Dylan. So stick around for that. And Cal and I'll be back when the runners come into the yard for race three.
Thank you.